What's up everyone? Well, we're in the Jeep and we're heading back to Nichols Auto Fab. When I first got the suspension done at Nichols Auto Fab, I also learned and actually tested uh, another mod that I needed. And it was the Steer Smarts um, tie rod, drag link, track bar, all of these kind of things, all the, the new mounts, all the stuff that Steer Smarts did really tightened up the steering on this JT and on the JLs. Um, I drove a JL with 37s, 513 gears, all the same stuff except it was a JL instead of a JT. And it had all the steer start stuff and I was blown away. So I'm gonna th show you clips of me driving this system for the first time in that JL. Also, we're gonna show you the install here today at Nichols Auto Fab and uh, give you a little overview of how you can really tighten up your steering on your JT or JL uh, Jeep Wrangler, really make it a lot more responsive. So let's dive into the video. We'll see you there. Bye. After traveling the better part of last year out of a full-size diesel, I decided to take on the challenge of building my own ultimate adventure vehicle. A rig I can live comfortably out of full time, hit some sweet jumps, and crawl big rocks. Brought to you in part by Warren Industries, Icon Vehicle Dynamics, Hellwig Products, Nitto Tire, Max Tracks, Magnaflow, Dometic, Nichols Auto Fab, Pack Racks, Nitro Gear and Axle, Steer Smarts, Adventure Ready, and coming soon, a home on wheels to make it the first ever Mars Expedition Vehicle. Super nasty LSJ cape. Man, we had quite the rip last night. Oh, wow, look at that. Another uh, four wheel camper flatbed from AT. Probably. AT Campers is right down the road here in Prescott, so that's fun. Ooh, it's nice and breezy here. I like it. Hey, Jeep. Hey, Jeep. Morning, Jeep. <laughs> the attenuator attending to your needs. Ooh, nice red track bar too. Jeez, that's beef. Wow. This stuff is so heavy duty. Can't even get it out of the box. Look at that. So this is the attenuator, like a shock in the middle of the drag link there. Really cool. to be back here doing more upgrades actually. Um, but the first time that we got the Icon lift and the 37s on, we drove Mike's JL with all this super heavy duty Yeti steering. So let's jump back to then and uh, we'll show you my first reactions driving uh, all this awesome Yeti steering components. What's up buddy? Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Oh, you grew some hair overnight. Yeah. Dude, can I try that visor on? Hello. <laughs> Just love this Jeep. So that's the Jeep that had the turbo that uh, didn't do so, didn't go so hot. One bag of metal. Yeah. Is that supposed to be a part? Several. Several parts. A few parts. parts. There's a couple pistons in there. Oh, I drove some, it back though. There's a couple pistons in there. There's a couple pistons in there. Some, some no. rings. Some oil squirters. No some windage tray. This, this gated Jeep 
The nickname Pinata Jeep. <laughs> All from a turbo? All from a turbo. Wow. So don't turbo the Jeeps? Um, I don't know. What, what, do we, what did we learn? They still have tuning issues uh. to, to be figured out on the on the JL mm -hmm. and I'm gonna guess the JT platforms. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was tuned by a very well known tuner. Um, it had nothing to do with the tune itself as much as it did the software with inside the, the hmm. factory PC. Wow. LS swap. Oh yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah, yeah. just LS swap. Just LS swap the world. Yeah. All right. Well, we got to drive another sweet Jeep here. Ugh, rough life. Got the old rock slide in here. Oh man, love those sliders. They're oh. awesome for us old fat man. Yeah. <laughs> thing has SMB intake and Magnaflow exhaust just like uh, my Jeep but it's got it doesn't have the rock crawler it's got the street dual exhaust with a Y pipe so let's see how it sounds oh wow it sounds way different than it mine does. doesn't it's it way different well, let's take it for a spin what do you All say right, bud buddy. what is it man we just always end up in these cool rigs I, I don't know I think I'm kind of wondering if it's some voodoo you do when you come up here. Some I, voodoo I see, I, you do. I feel like it's voodoo you do, cause uh. this is crazy, dude. Like, I'm like, man, we got, <laughs> I mean, somebody oh, literally awesome. just handed us the keys. Yeah, and, and said, so he's got the Yeti, um, and, and it's kind of first time I'm learning about it, to be honest. Yeti, like, st front drag link, steering, steering basically component. steering setup to, get the slop out of there so oh my gosh and he feels has it all geared up. He had it. dude this thing feels so peppy and Quarter like it steers light. just awesome that sounds oh good. my gosh dude, that that's... steering is just so responsive that's crazy well that's just a for brand new you can see a flex yeah you put this on over the outside you can do it yourself uh, this was something that I knew I needed. So I reached out to, to Steer Smarts and I was like, look, I know I need this no matter what. I'm gonna buy it no matter what. So if you guys wanna be a part of the build, love to have you on board. And they were super supportive and um, their customer service was awesome. They had this stuff shipped out. It was at my house way quicker than I thought. So let's continue the install. shirt like to a T. Oh my gosh, she even got the American flag and everything. <laughs> Got a boy. I got a boy. <laughs> <laughs> this fell off of that. And coming together. Dang, all that stuff looks good. See those serviceable joints though. That's awesome. Dock unit. Nothing like that there. Grease them up. Alright, we just left the shop and we haven't hit any high speeds yet. I'm pretty sure on the highway is where I'm really gonna notice it, not mob like moving and walking around as much. But I can tell you already, it's way easy to steer. <laughs> like you just, I don't know. It just seems like it just wants to steer versus before you were just kind of fighting it a little more. So I do really like that uh, a lot. 
So let's see what happens when we get up to higher speeds. It's funny, it's like the gears. It's like, yeah, this is how it should drive. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so remember how before on the way here I was like doing this and I was staying in the same lane? But so, yeah, like if you look at that, like boom, look at that. I'm barely even swerving there. Also with the stock steering, the truck with wind and stuff, it gets pushed a lot easier um, and kind of moves around more. Steering's very loose when that happens. So I think it'll be nice to have the steering tightened up. Makes everything so much freaking tighter. Um, I wasn't having any sort of death wobble on this or anything. All these components are still very new. So this is really more to keep things tight and to prevent any further death wobble. But the Griffin attenuator, um, it's really cool. It's like a little shock on there that acts, uh, it's stu super stiff. So what it does is it absorbs some vibration, um, but it's still stiff enough to transfer the proper amount of steering uh, out to the wheels. Griffin attenuator is definitely uh, a piece that I think is adding a lot to this smooth steering equation. I mean, look, my, <laughs> my hand's off the wheel right now and I'm staying in the same way crazy when you hit bumps before all these steering upgrade everything everything equivalent amazing suspension all that before you would just like ba -ba -ba -ba, like really kind of like and the suspension was smooth but you would the like the front end would it would almost be like just shaking the wheels a little you know and shoot I mean we're going from 33 inch tires to 37s. The stock tie rods and stuff weren't built for that. It's just the way it goes when you're upgrading a vehicle. So anyways, uh, that's the biggest thing that makes this a lot safer and easier to drive and just a lot less of a handful. When you hit a bump, it's no big deal. It's just boop. <laughs> uh, versus like, <laughs> and like things that can like really pull you around. Anyways. Um, I'm not moving this wheel nearly as much. Uh, I don't have to have nearly as much input on it in my, with my hand. I can actually steer the Jeep a little bit. I can actually steer the Jeep just with one hand down here. And I mean, it's, it's awesome, man. So it's super windy right now. Uh, it just got really windy as the sun went down. And I barely even realized it was windy. Like, I just got out to take a break and my hair was whipping, it was really windy, and then I got back in the truck and started driving, and I was like, oh, everything normal. And then I was like, wait, it's super windy. Point being, this steering in the wind is phenomenal. Um, in normal conditions, it's great, you can feel the difference, but in rough conditions, off-road, in the wind, oh my gosh, feels like a whole new front end, and it is. That. So check the links below for all that comment below. Let me know what you think of the build so far What do you think I should do next and of course uh, hit the like if you enjoyed the video and make sure that you're subscribed You don't want to miss any of this build Appreciate you being here. The only question is are you down to mob? Woo!